hello, have you written a book and are thinking, where do I go now? Or perhaps you want to write a book, but you don't really know, hmm, how can you expand on your revenue? How can you build a business around the book you've either written or about to write? You're in the right place because today that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to give you some tips on building a business around a book. Hello. Hi, everybody. Listen, my name is Jackie McKeever. I'm a life and business coach. What I do is I help individuals just like you. I help you go from merely surviving to thriving, okay? I do this in the areas of personal development and business because on this channel, on YouTube, it's all about taking your life and business back. So this is a perfect topic for this. And another thing, I am happy about my upcoming project um, about apps and parents, right? And before I talk about the apps and parents, let's get into this topic, building a business around a book. Okay, so the first tip that I want to give you is you have to decide that are you going to continue to cater to the audience that you created or about to create the book for. So the audience can change as your business plan, as your business aspect changes. For example, um, one of the books that I participated in that I'm a co-author on is called The Smell of Poverty. Now that book was written for the nonprofit. It was written to create uh, revenue for the nonprofit um, is revenue for me uh, because this was a joint collaboration with the non another nonprofit and uh, part of the proceeds went to charitable organizations when you bought a book. So and, and because the book is about the smell of poverty, the audience, that it was catered catered to was people who wanted to learn um, what those signs were and how to overcome them. It may and it was not necessarily the individual customers of that um, nonprofit. And so this is what I mean. You have to decide whether your you are going to continue when you create that business catering to whoever you write wrote that book to or you're going to have a different audience so the second one so number one was decide on the audience and number two it may sound like i'm going backwards but trust me right number two is do a brain dump you have to do a brain dump and decide everything that you're excited about, you're thinking about, you always wish you did. Um, like if you wanted to, if you wanted to meet Oprah, write that down. Whatever it is, you need to do a brain dump because number one, when you do a, when you do a brain dump, it clears your mind so that you can focus on what the really the real task is. And B, you want to be able to structure um your plans your goals around what it is you really want to do does that make sense give me a thumbs up it makes sense jackie it makes sense <laughs> anyway so number one decide on the audience number two do a brain dump number three you have to decide how much money you need or want Okay, so here's another, here's an example with the smell of poverty. This was a passion project. It was meant to raise money for uh, these programs. Okay, so there was a set, a goal amount that uh, each individual business 
that was incorporated with it because all of them wasn't nonprofit. You know, some of the businesses that got involved with this um, nonfiction book were profit businesses and some of them were already nonprofits. So each one of them had a goal. Um, they they knew how much the investment was for this project. They knew they had to get this and they knew this is what they wanted to make. And this is was this is this is why they set the price limit for this. Right. These are all the little details. But it first starts with you deciding how much money you need versus how much money you want to make. OK. OK. So number one was decide on the audience number two do a brain dump number three decide on how much money you need number four number four you have to decide on what revenue if, if there are going to be some additional revenue streams because you know that books nonprofit and profit excuse me, nonfiction and fiction books can range from anywhere. So if I am talking about the psychological effects of women in um, a male-dominated employment uh, factor, and I'm doing a case, doing it in case study form, this, and it's hoped to be into a, uh, medical journal medical journal of course you know I may only use this uh, this may not be a main source of income I may be using this just for advertisement I want to be able to use this as to uh, create that platform as me being an expert in that area because I got published. I got published uh, talking about psychology because I may be a therapist, I may be a psychiatrist, whatever the case may be. But whatever the remnant new streams involved, we want to state those streams. So this is my fifth tip, right? You want to be able to write all that down and then some, because then that's when we start getting into visibility and the things of an author business plan. Okay, so an author business plan is, is similar to a regular business plan. However, the it's uh, when we put the word author, we are specifically creating one for an author. If we were a medical doctor, uh, we would say it would be a doctor's uh, business plan. Now, there are some things that differ because we are not being generic with it. We're being more specific. We are outlining our goals. We are doing everything to ensure that we reach this particular goal. So let me tell you what I did. I want to invite you all to come along with this journey. I'm offering you free training. That's right, free training, um, free author, an author business plan training. It's called Secrets to Creating an Author's Business Plan secrets to creating a, a author's business plan now for those of you who don't know me creating business plan business management is not only my specialty it's what i majored in i'm an i have an mba with a minor in accounting spent over 20 years and and helping p other people excel right manage staff from 150 to 200 people in two locations train managers supervisors influence other departments departments took my career from being a contracting officer representative to a contracting specialist for the federal government i've created policies and procedures managed budgets over five million dollars so planning and i love planning so take this journey you simply go to the link tree for slash route to victory to sign up you click the, the the link simply plug in your name your email 
and join in on this training. This training is happening July the 22nd, okay? July the 22nd. I have limited seatings, okay? So it's going to be a first come, first serve basis. You want to get in, get your seat, and make sure you opt in and watch for the emails because the link to the training is going to be sent in the emails. So you don't want to miss this. July the 22nd It's 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. It's secrets to creating an author's business plan. Now, something like this, if you went it to someone else to create this, it can cost you anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000 or more for this business plan. We are starting from scratch and we are building our author business. If you have a book that you've created and you want to create a business behind it or you're planning on creating a business behind it, you want to get your little hiney into this class it doesn't cost you anything it's absolutely free i'm going to put the link down below and another thing what you want to do you want to subscribe and click the notification bells so that you can get in on the any upcoming training events and things that'll help you take your life and your business back because that's what it's all about it's all about creating things around ourselves so that we can solidify our dreams, our hopes, our gifts, our purpose. It's all about our dream life. So get into secrets to creating your author business plan. The link is below.